Hi Indonesian food lovers, back to my YouTube channel Didi Lo Javani. You know that holiday is always great because it brings some inspiration. This time is about the Indonesian street food. When you are in Indonesia, particularly in Bali or in Java, you will find this street food called martabak manis almost everywhere. You may miss it because it tastes so good and you may also wonder how to prepare this Indonesian pancake or martabak manis when you are no longer in Indonesia. <laughs> Don't worry about it because in this video you will know about what ingredients you need to have and the process of making it. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, play it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain. So, here are the ingredients, right above hand corner of your screen. And I will demonstrate how you can prepare the dough for your martabak manis. 250 grams of white flour. In my case, I use a sieve to aerate the flour so that it will lead to a lighter and more tender crumb in baked martabak manis. I shake the sieve gently so that the flour won't go out of the bowl. I add two table big spoons of maizena. Once it's done, I will add sugar to it. I only use 100 grams of sugar. Why? Because I don't like it too sweet. And also, I had to take care of my body weight. <laughs> yes, 100 grams of sugar for this martabak manis is more than sufficient. And then blend them well using this whisk. Afterwards, I break the egg and mix it with the rest of ingredients. I put 250 milliliters of slightly warm water. And I start whisking all ingredients. Make sure that you whisk everything evenly like this sono drippers that can impede your martabak to become fluffy. Now I'm going to add 8 grams of baking powder to this fluffy dough. Actually, you can add the baking powder together with the flour, sugar and maizena in the beginning and whisk evenly. Once the dough is perfectly blended, you can now cover it and leave it for at least an hour. And for now, you keep the one teaspoon of baking soda because it should be added to the dough just before you start baking it on your frying pan. Other additional ingredients are butter, shredded cheese, chocolate sprinkles for the topping, pandan leaf powder for coloring your martabak manis. So, as you are waiting for the dough to be ready, you can dilute this pandan leaf powder that you can add it to the dough later. Well, this is just optional guys. After one hour of waiting, now you can dilute the baking soda and and add it to the dough, then whisk it gently so that it can be well mixed. Do you know why it's important and necessary to leave the dough for at least an hour? Well, because you need to let the baking powder develop the dough that eventually makes the dough softer and more fluffy. Take out your frying pan of the rack and heat it on the stove. In my case, I use this type of anti-adhesive frying pan and electric stove as it heats the frying pan equally. 
Now the question is, how do you know whether or not the frying pan is hot enough for baking? The answer is that you can sprinkle it with small drops of water and when you can hear the sound like this, like that, it means that it is ready. The frying pan has to be very hot because it will make the dough create kind of honeycomb. Otherwise, you fail in making your martabak manis. And as soon as you see the bubbles like this, you can lower the heat. Do not cover your frying pan till you see the honeycomb and to break these bubbles, you can scatter a bit of sugar on it. And now you can cover your frying pan till your martabak is well cooked. Take it out of the frying pan and put some butter on it, then cut it into two before putting on some topping. Look. You know that cheese and chocolate sprinkles are my favorites for topping. It looks so delicious, isn't it? So guys, now you can make your own martabak manis like the one you had when you were in Indonesia. So this is it guys, how I prepare the Indonesian uh, martabak or Indonesian pancake. It is called martabak manis in Indonesia and uh, in Surabaya, especially, it is called uh, Trangbulan. Anyway, in Indonesia, we have two types of martabak, uh, salt martabak, and uh, this is sweet martabak that I'm preparing now. And uh, if you want to know what motivates me to prepare this cake is that, you know, uh, you know, I went to Indonesia a couple of months ago with my friends, and uh, I saw some of them enjoyed uh, this Indonesian pancake or martabak while, you know, we, we did some uh, small shopping and uh, it keeps you know in my mind that how can I prepare this Indonesian pancake or martabak and I did some research and finally yes today I I managed to prepare or to cook uh, Indonesian pancake martabak manis so let me enjoy it and I'll tell you the taste mm. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. This one mm. is perfect. Mm. Alright, so if you like this video, don't forget to hit like button and also uh, subscribe. Give some comments also if you wish. And of course, next time you can try, uh, you can try um, at home and uh, let me know if you succeed in making this Indonesian pancake or uh, martabak and give some comments when you succeed in making um, martabak manis at home. Well, okay, thanks a lot for watching this video. I'm Didilo Javane. See you again next time. Ciao!